Science is something that we should pay heed to even when we don't fully understand it. It can reveal the answers to the universe or make us ask new questions that we never thought about answering before. We've only advanced so far in our world because we've learned more fields of science and study than ever before, and it's opened our eyes. The catch with all of this is that there are times that fields of study can lead to discoveries that we kind of wish we'd never known about. Science is scary, and that means that some of the discoveries they find are scary as well. Here now are 20 scary scientific discoveries the public is unaware of. Number 20. A New Human Species I'll begin with one that you likely did not see coming. Melanesians, people that are native to Vanuatu, the Solomon Islands, Fiji, Papua New Guinea, New Caledonia, West Papua, and the Maluka Islands could carry DNA from a now extinct human ancestor that is so far unknown in the fossil record. That's right, a new species of humans were discovered in this tribe. Or potentially, anyways. Melanesians retain both Neanderthal and Denisovan ancestry in their genes that we've known for some time, but according to reports from 2016, there could be another layer to their DNA that hints at another ancestor entirely, and it may explain some things if it's true. Melanesians to this day have an extremely unusual trait. They often have the darkest skin in the world outside of Africa, yet about one-fourth of them have blonde afros. Not exactly a mixture of features you'd likely see out there, yet they've had it for a while. The reason for the unique look is because of their genes and ancestry, but perhaps there's a lot more to it than we even realize. But what does this suggest that's so scary? Well, simply put, it would once again rewrite our understanding of human evolution and the various races that were there in the early stages. Some scientists believe that a massive population of people could have existed that we've never known about, which would greatly increase the population of the world at a key point in history. Plus, that would also raise the possibility that there could be even more unknown species of pre-humans that are yet to be discovered. The DNA of the human race is very important, as you can imagine, but imagine that we still don't know even the basics of our own history, and that in and of itself is scary. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Yellowstone Supervolcano now we'll do a little bit of an experiment. Imagine your favorite vacationing spot. It could be a campsite or a theme park, perhaps even an island getaway. Picture yourself there now, enjoying the area and the company that you're in. But now imagine that while you're there, a major natural disaster occurs that could devastate the entire planet within a short period of time. Is it the plot of a disaster movie, you may be asking? Well, sure it is, but what I've just detailed is the real-life threat that awaits us all just under Yellowstone National Park. That's right, the place that some of you have explored is right on top of a major piece of potential destruction. In this case, it's a super or volcano. Just being a regular volcano, well, that's not worthy of this list. This one is a super volcano. This is something that was formed in ancient times, and to be clear, it has blown its top in the past. One occurred 2.1 million years ago, one 1.3 million years ago, and another 664,000 years ago. So if you're measuring the timeline, you're going to see that we're actually in the range for an eruption. Well, yes and no. If the pattern does hold, then yes, we'll be in line for a potential eruption that could devastate the planet. However, scientists have known about it for quite a while, and according to them, we're not in any kind of immediate danger. But as horror movies would suggest, people always think that they're not in any danger when they're absolutely in danger. And even though they claim that it might never blow up again, many people have pieced together what would happen if it did. It's needless to say, but the immediate area around Yellowstone would be covered in lava and ash, and a massive cloud of ash and smoke would devastate the planet, and an earthquake from the eruption could cause even more damage. So let's all just hope that it never happens. Number 18. Black Holes 
Now, look, whether you're a fan of Kirk, Picard, Janeway, or any other of the great Star Trek captains, their goal was to explore new and strange worlds. And it's something that we people of this Earth want to do very badly. We dream about it and are trying our hardest just to make it to Mars, let alone outside of our own galaxy. But as our own horrifying scientific finds have revealed, just because we can go into space to look for more worlds doesn't mean that those worlds are the only things that are out there. Case in point, black holes. The things that space-filled nightmares are made of. Depending on what show you've watched, you've likely seen your own interpretation of what a black hole is. The scientific definition is part of space where a bunch of matter has been compromised in a very small area. That means that this spot has so much gravity packed into it that it sucks in everything that's around it. And I do mean everything. The reason that you can't see a black hole, despite what science fiction films would depict, is because light cannot escape it. And if you don't know, light is pretty fast. What's just as horrifying is that if and when something gets caught in a black hole, it's slowly stretched apart until there's nothing but atoms. Even massive planets and stars cannot resist the pull of a black hole, and there are even pictures of entities that are being caught in black holes and the devastation they cause. So, if we're going to go into space one day, we better have a way to detect where the black holes are and then avoid them at all costs. Number 17. Lingering Radioactivity whether people want to admit it or not, the creation of the atomic bomb and then the upgraded nuclear bomb were some of the dumbest moments in human history. Yes, they were used to stop World War II and it arguably saved a lot of lives as a result. However, the arms race that would follow and the escalation of what these weapons caused is still felt to this very day. Plus, there's a mess that's being dealt with today in terms of the radioactivity that was left behind during all of those tests for those bombs. Between 1946 and 1958, the United States alone conducted 67 nuclear weapons tests on the island of Bikini Atoll. They wanted to see the effects of atomic and nuclear devices on certain materials and crafts and then figure out certain parts of the science. Here's one that they forgot. Radioactive fallout does linger. In 2018, a research team led by Huai scientists went to Bikini Atoll and one of the other islands that was nearby, they then took some samples of the water. They wanted to see whether or not the water still emitted radioactive signatures. Despite it being 60 years since the last testing, it did. The phrase, that's not good, doesn't even cover it. In fact, because of that radioactivity, those islands and the areas around them cannot be inhabited, all because they blew up some bombs there. Now yes, those waters are far apart from major population sectors of the world, but that's also not the point, because if we were to ever go to war on a nuclear scale, all that it would take was one bomb going off to irradiate the area for decades and make it unlivable. And so, let's just hope that fears about future nuclear wars remain, or else we'll really have something to be afraid of. Number 16. The Germ this one's a bit of a two-edged sword, so let me dive into history first, and then I'll talk about why it's so scary. The history of medicine is full of doctors making various claims about things and trying to make them seem plausible to the world at large. For example, bloodletting. They thought that it was a good idea, but it wasn't. The Romans once thought that drinking the sweat and skin of successful gladiators would give them special abilities, but it wasn't, and it was very gross. However, eventually, scientists did make a discovery that would change our lives forever. They discovered germs. Yes, it seems odd to think about it as a major discovery now, but back then, the idea of there being microscopic anything was just out of sight was madness. People were put to death for suggesting lesser things that would later be revealed to be true. The discovery of the germ would lead to safe surgery, large-scale vaccination programs, dramatic improvements in hygiene and sanitation, and the pasteurization of dairy products. We made our lives better because we learned about something that we had been living with for so long and yet had no clue about. So what's the scary part in all of that? Well, it's twofold. First, it would take a really long time for this discovery to be made, and that's why the lifespans of many early humans was so short, because if you did get sick, you were basically screwed. Secondly, and arguably most important, while it's great to know about germs in the overall, it's kind of freaky to know that there are countless millions of things all around us at any given moment. Think about it, germs are everywhere, and we just have to deal with it no matter what which is a lot of pressure, you know. Number 15. The Scale of the Universe 
Now let's go from something very small to something very large. Because I have to ask the question, how big is the universe? That's something that no one knows how to answer, and I mean that in a literal sense. We have the observable universe that we can reasonably guess the size of, and then there's the rest. Now, the creation of our universe is obviously one of the biggest scientific debates of all time, bar none. Whether you believe in a god or gods or the Big Bang or whatever it is, it is a key part of our history. But again, just how big is the universe? If you listen to certain scientists, that answer cannot be given because the universe is still growing. According to certain studies, the universe on its fringes is still growing, growing to such a vast and potentially empty space that it continues to stretch on into infinity and beyond. Given how hard it is to measure and look at our own solar system, or even our own Milky Way galaxy, the idea that the universe is an ever-expanding thing is horrifying to think about. First and foremost, it makes all of us feel smaller than we already are. We're small compared to our planet and to our solar system and our galaxy, but when you hear about the universe and how it can potentially grow and expand infinitely, it really makes you think about your cosmic scale. There's another element to all of this. If the universe is immeasurable and there's truly no way of knowing that there isn't some kind of other life on another planet, and if it's, for example, on the other side of the universe, we're never going to see it, nor reach out to it. Not unless we get warp technology that even Star Trek would be jealous of, and that's not looking likely at the present time. The universe was already pretty scary, but this takes it to a whole new level. Number 14. Superbugs if you've watched enough of our videos, you know that we really hate insects, arachnids, or anything else that has a similar body with too many legs. But the superbugs I'm talking about here are much more dangerous of a threat than any regular bug could be. Because here, we're speaking of the bugs that can cause you to be sick, get diseases, and even struggle with getting cured. Ever since the birth of modern medicine, we've tried to cure just about everything that we can. We've done well on some things, which include eradicating diseases like polio or limiting one like smallpox, but the thing about nature is that it doesn't like to stay stagnant. These superbugs are ones that are becoming resistant or even downright immune to various medicines and vaccines that we have today. And that's really bad, because just imagine one of these bugs causing the next great event, meaning that we'll be working three times as hard as before, because this thing is immune to just about everything we have out there. The more that these bugs evolve, the more that we have to be worried about what comes next. Scientists are trying to get out ahead of the situation, but it's not exactly the best right now because of people's fears of certain treatments. But if one of these bugs does cause the next major sickness, it's not going to matter if they change their tunes. It may already be too late. Number 13. The Human Brain now, if you were to list the most important parts of your body, I would guess that the brain would be within the top three. And if it's not, you should probably get your priorities in order and pretty quickly. Anyways, the human brain is something that drives us all forward because from it, all thought and activity is done. Whenever you make a decision, it's because of your brain. When you tell your body to do something or it does something naturally, that's because of your brain. Your personality, mood, and more are all determined by your brain. But that alone is not really scary. What is scary is despite the fact that it being a vital part of our lives, we don't really know a whole lot about it as we might think. Case in point, there was a pop culture belief that we only used about 10% of our brains at any moment. It was so popular that even The Simpsons used it during one of their episodes. After Mythbusters got a hold of that story, they proved that it's actually not true. We use much more than 10%, and yet we don't use all 100% even when we're doing something mentally taxing. Now, there are certain types of activities that we do, like sleep, which is dictated by the brain, that we have no reason for why exactly we do it. The brain is what makes us go in many ways, and yet we only know the basics of how and why it works. Which is freaky, but do you really need to think about it, or can I simply move on? Number 12. Dark Matter and Dark Energy now I'm going to take you to another one of the great mysteries of the stars, specifically the mystery and belief that surrounds dark matter and dark energy. To put it this way, what is the empty reaches of space even filled with? If you were to look at the gap between Earth and Venus and take out all the things we see like debris and rocks, what's left there? It's empty space. Except that doesn't make any kind of scientific sense. When you add to that expansion of the universe that we talked about before, scientists have tried to figure out what the universe 
is really made of and how that's affecting its growth. The answer that they've come up with is dark matter and dark energy, which even Albert Einstein talked about in the past. It's the belief that when the universe came to be, something powerful yet invisible filled in the gaps that matter had left behind. It's this invisible power that causes things to grow and expand, even though the Big Bang allegedly ended billions of years ago. And there's the rub, because while many do believe in it, it's never actually been proven. No one has observed dark matter or energy in any way. It's simply a theory, one that makes sense when you think about it and see the science, but what is science without proof? If we don't even know what makes up the universe, then what do we really know? A whole lot of nothing. And that, my friends, is the scary part. Number 11. Mass Extinction Events Given the arrogance of humanity, it's very much within their realm to thinking to believe that there have only been a few extinction events on our planet, and those were fine because they made the way for us humans. But that's a very narrow and downright stupid way of looking things. Because in truth, the Earth has almost been wiped out over multiple times, and we're lucky to even be alive right now. Now before you go tearing me up in the comment section down below, just know that I only read the words on the screen. You likely know about two extinction events right off the top of your head via the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs and the Ice Age, but they're just the tip of a very deadly iceberg. Overall, there have been five confirmed major extinction events. The first one is said to have happened 443 million years ago, wiping out 85% of all life on Earth. Another one was called the Great Dying, and that wiped out 95%. And the other three were just equally as devastating, but curiously, were all different in terms of cause. One of them was undetermined as to the cause, and there are other events that have caused massive changes in the world, like the Great Oxygenation, where Earth got its first taste of oxygen as a dominant part of the atmosphere and life simply couldn't handle it. While we haven't had one of these events in a while, it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen again. Number 10. Climate Change now, many believe that what's scary about climate change isn't that it'll likely destroy the planet, but rather that so many people are downplaying it for the purposes that are both stupid and greedy. Oh, and one of those mass extinction events? It was said to have been caused by climate change. Climate change is said to be real, and we're already seeing the effects of it on our own world. Temperatures are rising, ice is melting, the ocean levels are growing and swallowing up the land, and weather is getting out of balance. Yet people refuse to acknowledge it, including world leaders. Why? Because the biggest companies in the world are the ones who are helping climate change happen. Changing their ways means losing money and power, and they're not going to settle for that. Number 9. Humans are living microbes. The human body is a miracle, and I really do believe that. If you think about all the things that it does and that it can do for you and certain things to build it up, it can be a muscle-fueled machine that can pull planes, it can be a mentally brilliant thing that can understand the mysteries of the universe, and it can be a fleshy sack of mostly water that just gets in the way when we try to live. But what's scary is that without it, our bodies are microbes and bacteria that are vital to our survival as a whole. Even talking can release microbes and bacteria into the world, and these organisms help us to function and can even save our lives. In fact, those without proper microbes are doomed to be unhealthy. And I talk so much, I'm probably going to live forever. Number 8. Aliens yeah, I'm talking about aliens! Because one of the scariest things that humanity has tried to understand and answer is the question of, are we alone in the universe? The question is hard to answer as our previous topic about universal scale shows, however, there are a few ways that you can look at it. One, because the universe is so large, it'd be an almost statistical impossibility that we were alone. After all, if the universe was made in a big bang and all the things are created equally and randomly, how could it be that only one one planet in an entire universe is filled up with life. But on the other hand, we've looked into multiple parts of the universe and found nothing. Nothing meaningful or even proven. So the question does remain, are we alone in the universe? Well, no one can say for sure, and that revelation haunts everyone. Number 7. Cannabis 
Yeah, I'm going there, and this one's not so much about the public doesn't know kind of situation, but rather a did you really know kind of thing. Because for the longest of times, marijuana has been a thing of taboo in modern culture. It's something that people acknowledge exists, but whether it's actually good for you or not is heavily debated by just about everyone. Some people believe that it works, some people think that it doesn't, and the US government can't even decide what kind of substance to label it. So they just put the heaviest of restrictions on it despite it not being as deadly as things like cocaine. Fast forward to now and people still can't agree, but medical professionals are using it to help treat patients. And guess what? It's working. But what part of the debate do you sit on? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Number 6. Antikythera Mechanism the next one takes us into the depths of history because in a shipwreck that was found near Greece, an analog computer was discovered that was later dubbed the Antikythera Mechanism due to where it was located. The computer, as it's been loosely termed, is one that would help sailors keep their bearings at sea by helping them to understand the stars and predict certain events like eclipses. The problem is that no one can understand how the Greeks even came up with the technology and the idea to make it work in the 2nd century BC. Now yes, many ancient cultures have made magnificent inventions, but a computer that can predict future events? That's something else entirely, and that won't be the only time you'll hear me talk about ancient cultures doing things out of the ordinary. Number 5. New Species this one might not seem all that scary, but it's one that needs to be noted for context. Humans have been studying the world for a millennia, and each generation is destined to find something new and special. That's just how the world works. But what is scary is that after all of this time, we're still finding new species of both animals and flowers all over the world. Why is that so scary? Well, because you would think that we would have discovered it all by now, or that there are only a few small or remote species that were so rare that we never found them before. However, every single year a new species is discovered, and we know there are more out there because the vast wilderness and depths of the oceans that we've yet to map out in full. Number 4. Screaming Mummies There are a lot of things from Egypt that are scary. And mummies? They're definitely one of them. But one discovery that freaked out a lot of people was that of screaming mummies. These were bodies that were found in tombs in Egypt and beyond, as mummification is a global method. It featured people on the inside of the sarcophagus literally screaming, as in their mouths were open, giving them a look as though they had been screaming when they died. Did that mean that they were all forcibly put into mummification? Was it not an act that was performed on those who were ready and worthy? Well, not exactly. You see, when mummification happens, steps are taken to keep the body tight and bound. As a result, the mouth is strapped into place, but for the screaming mummies, they were not properly taken care of, and the strap on their chins broke, and thus they appear to be screaming. It's still scary, but for a different reason, really. Number 3. Stonehenge why is Stonehenge scary? Well, it's simple, because we don't know exactly who made it, why they made it, or even how they were able to make it. Seriously, while we do have various inferences to how Stonehenge came to be, the more that we look into it, the more questions that appear. For example, we can determine where the stones that made Stonehenge came from. The problem is that they were many miles away from that spot, so why would anyone go to such great lengths to get stones from one place and put them in another? Plus, we don't know how they lifted the multi-ton stones into place in such precision. And finally, while it's been guessed at how it's a type of calendar, nobody can definitively prove it. So instead of being scared to death of this mystery, let's just turn it into a tourist attraction, right? Number 2. The Nazca Lines the Nazca Lines are one of the biggest and freakiest mysteries out there. In Peru, the ancient Nazca Lines did meticulous work to make these lines in the dirt. These lines made over 300 geometric designs, which include basic shapes like triangles, rectangles, and trapezoids, as well as spirals, arrows, zigzags, and wavy lines. 
but they also made familiar shapes. Examples would include a spider, a hummingbird, a cactus plant, monkeys, whales, llamas, ducks, flowers, trees, lizards, and dogs. And while they were able to do this with extreme precision, and without the benefit of looking down on it from above, exactly how were they able to do it? Equally as important, why did they do it? Some feel that it was for their gods, but to what end? Pop culture has happily taken these lines and given them their own explanations, but the real-life mystery still endures, and it's still scary. Number 1. Mariana Trench Finally, we'll go to one of the scariest places in the world, the Mariana Trench. But why is it so scary? Well, that's because it's one of the deepest parts on the planet. You can flip Mount Everest and lower it into the ocean, and its tip would still not touch the trench. You would think that a place that was so deep would not have any life within it, but you would be wrong. There are actually all sorts of life in this dark and deep place, and it's freaking freaky. There are sharks that have lived millions of years, fish that have transparent heads, giant amoebas, and even even more. They're living with no light, freezing cold temperatures, and under pressure that would kill a person who doesn't have serious protection, and yet they're all just fine. In fact, if you take a creature from there and bring it to the surface, they would likely die because the pressure is simply too low. And we know that there are more creatures down there, just awaiting to be found. That's all from the realm of scientific discoveries you likely didn't want to know about. Were you indeed horrified by some of the things that were revealed here today? And which ones do you think are the scariest to think about? Or do you know of something more scary that could be on this list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.